Good morning and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this, for your word, for our time together with it. And Lord, we thank you for the people who we will have opportunity to share your word with or that already this day have walked with us in faith. Lord, we pray for healing in our day and age and the troubles that assail us. We pray for healing in the world. We pray for healing for this world, for there's, there's been generations of damage to the earth that we were meant to care for. Lord, we pray that we will be better in our care for one another, especially the care of faith, the, the disciplining one another, the encouraging one another, the challenging one another, and the willingness to be, be, be challenged ourselves. Lord, take us away from the excuses that we make. Lord, the, those, cha those challenges that are before us are, are well within our reach to do something, even if it is to bow our heads and pray. Help us to not be afraid of all that you call us to do and all you call us to be. And the faith we are meant to have, let it not just be for us, but for us to share. Lord, we pray this day also for those who are struggling with their faith. Those who have set their faith on worldly measures, Lord, these are so fleeting, they are so fragile. Lord, they are so limited. Lord, teach us again to set our faith in the midst of love and compassion and understanding. Lord, help us to set our faith on one another's hearts and the fellowship your Holy Spirit calls us to have, that these truer and more real things might be our measure of who we are and how we live. Lord, most of all, we thank you for Christ who is our example, who is our way, our faith, truth, and life. Lord, help us to follow together in Christ's name and to be a fellowship of praise before you. This in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the Old Testament, we turn today to Deuteronomy chapter 31, reading at verse 6. It reads, Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. We get excited when we come into the new year with new possibilities, with new challenges, new dangers. It's, especially in our time, coming into a new year, we come in with maybe less anticipation and more anxiety. And we wonder what lies ahead and we worry about what lies ahead before we even get to what lies ahead. And so we're all ready, exhausted and worried out by the time we get to anything. And that's not what God has asked us to be. An example of faith is trusting that God has already seen a way through whatever lies ahead. Coming to life's challenges, we look for the way that God has laid out for us in the journey through our troubles. Not to be stymied by them, but to, to see the obstacles as, as, as challenges to overcome. And overcome in fellowship. These are not things that in faith we are meant to, to do on our own, but faith calls us together. That is the truest faith. Even though the world will say that faith is a quiet and private and separate thing, we are called to a corporate faith. We are called to a, a family of faith. And that is meant to be our identity, especially as we face our troubles and even when the fellowship fails us. And we are betrayed, and it happens. The Lord will not forsake thee. And that is this beautiful promise that is, is given to God's people as they face the real final obstacles of coming into their own here in the book of Deuteronomy, the same is true today, and it is especially true in Christ, that he will never leave you nor forsake you. God loves you, and may God bless and keep you. Amen.